Welcome to the first opening race of the Season 3 Skittles Rookie Series. What was once a, just a plain old league is now part of the NLSCAR. Are you ready? Gentlemen! Start your engines! Parno. I used to run two leagues and now I bunched them together up to one. Now it's only one league I run with a lot of series. We have four rookie series. They're coming up and one of them is right here. It used to be the only three. The main three were Skittles, Skittles, Tide, and Walmart. Then, hey, why not throw in a truck series? So that's what, and then the Reese's, the Reese's Rookie Series came in and it had some great racing and hopefully we get some good racing as well. The Rookie Series has, is an all super speedway maybe to throw in a few t two mile track uh, tracks because uh, they're, they're fast I like super speedways some are faster than super speedways like Michigan because of the restrictive plate we use at Daytona and Talladega but not at tracks like Coca-Cola and Dental Park Dental Park one of the dangerous uh, tracks one of the crazy super speedways we had so here we here we go field Coming off the of four and pace car about to head down pit row. Just a little bit tired. Playing too many games. And there he goes. Ryan Fisher leading and green flag. Got some three wide already back there. Uh there's a lot of new faces. Uh, the rookie series is uh, one of those is one of the type of series like no other as I already mentioned before super speedway tracks a full schedule of super speedway tracks a chance for a lot of new drivers or amateur drivers to pick up their first win or rack up some wins drivers like Raymond Fisher he's a well-known name I think uh, he has a few wins in this league, but hoping to rack up and oh, we got a rack already. Rookie mistake this early. It ain't the big one, but whatever. So caution's already out on lap one. Raymond Fisher's the leader. He leads the first lap of season three. This is actually his. F I think it is his first time in this series. And now I'll we'll take a look at the replay. Here's a replay. You see that 13 car hooks the back end of the 06. Who's in the 13 car? Zachary Robinson. And and then that caused a big mess right there. So you could say it's a rookie mistake, but I don't think Zachary Robinson is a rookie in this league. So you got six cars, and then here's the seventh one. The eight car took a big hit. Wow. Shit, his name did not fit. I'll fix that later. But, uh, yeah. And now I'll take you back to the restart. Here we go. And, whoa. That's a lot of drivers already out of the race. What's going on? Oh, I didn't really see what happened, but whatever. I'll check it out later if we get another caution, which I believe we will soon. Of course, I don't know when. Raymond Fisher, the leader. They, everyone went down pit road, I believe. Jordan I, second. Third, Chris Kyle. This is his final season in the Skills Rookie Series. And there it is, green flag. That's the same paint scheme he ran in the M&M's Cup Series Season 2. Picked up two wins but did not pick up the championship. And Caution is back out already? 
Well, I don't know what was going on, but I can't seem to find out what it is. But of course, they're gonna race it back to the line. So maybe Raven Fisher might still be the leader if no one makes the move. Chris Kyle way up top, not good. See everyone just train around him. Got the six right behind him, but of course that won't help. Looks like no one's gonna make the move for the lead, so okay, that's too late. So Raven Fisher once again, we're under caution again. Fisher's the leader, and let's take a look. Well, I can't exactly find out why was there a caution flag. See, that's that's when the caution lights came on, but you see, no one spun out. I don't see any debris on the track. So, it's kind of weird, but let's take a look at what happened to the some of the drivers earlier. Well, I can't seem to find the footage, but Chris Kyle's blowing up. But anyways, uh, the footage, I don't know, I, I couldn't find it because I accelerated it through. And, yeah, everyone just got bottled up. Because cop blown up, not good. Another bad luck here, Daytona Day Race. It does pretty well in the night ones. But when it comes to Daytona Day Race, everything goes completely horseshit. It's best finish, I believe. Yes, it is second. And Raymond Fisher has got a nice lead. Still has led every lap we've raced. Which no one has ever done. That's the most laps led in Daytona probably. Properly. I'm just tired as fuck. Cosmo Bud, another rookie. Trying to make get his first win in his first start. Just hope you don't spoil the race if you do. Rookies, sometimes I get irritated by them. And once again, Raymond Fisher still the leader. Whoa, bouncing off the walls. So uh, Chris Cobb blew the header. Okay, and the 14th giving a hell of a push for that 30 car, Jermon A. And you guys have a lot of hard pronouncing last names. Looks like they're going to go 3Y for the lead. Got a rookie on the bottom, but you got a veteran, I think, on the bottom. I should say in the middle, the 30 car, and then he's on the bottom. Six cars trying to make the move. He won't lead it though. Joseph Curtis leads that lap. Got a lot of single file racing. From mid pack to the end. I don't know what happened to the, some of the drivers. I think they might have got bottled up too. And whoa, what's going on? Nope, we got another crash. 29's around. Oh, the 40 car, the 40 car's in the air. Oh, big crash. This is the big one. Oh, everyone. Oh my god. Oh, Noodles Noodly, I believe, is upside down. Daytona 500 winner, season 3. DJ Curtis. Another veteran. Joe Bud, a rookie involved. Who's that in that 40 car? They're gonna. Okay, who's the leader? Cosmo Bud is. And wow. Got a big one on the back stretch. Usually happens over there. And now we'll take a look at the replay. It all started right here with Zachary Robinson and the 88 of Ryan Gable. Both of he hooks the back end of the 88, tries to come back on track, and that just create a whole mess right there. Forces the two up and into the 29. DJ Curtis, and there he goes around, gets into the 40 car. Look at that, goes up into the air, and again, wow. So luckily he did not flip. Who was in the 40 car? I don't know. I don't know the rookie, Mitchell. Hug his. <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of it, but it's really hard to pronounce. Nick Purcells, okay, rewind that. Here's the spectator cam. 
Uh, driver is getting wrecked in the last minute. There's Noodles Newly right there. The 18 going around. Another big hit. But a 40 car just trying to get the camera. Look at that 22 car going up in the air. On top of the 23. We rewind that once again. And then see that glitch and then gets into the 42. I don't know. I don't know who hit him. I think it could be that Pep Dr. Pepper car. I don't know what number goes right on top of that 34. I mean 23 car and back on his wheels. His day is done. What number is that? Oh, number zero, Ian Seal. Another veteran, I think. And now I'll take you back to the restart. We're going to restart this race with two laps to go. It's pretty much a short race with all those caution flags. I should extend it, but it's too late now. 24 drivers remaining on the track. Pace car goes on kids down pit road. Here we go. Green fly. Cosmo Bud in the lead. A sitting duck. First race of his NLSC air career. The sixth car of Jordan I looks to the top and then goes to the bottom with the 12 right behind that Cosmo Bud's gonna be hung out to dry as they just stroll right past him Joseph Curtis moves up to third now who's in that 12 oh yes Tristan folks one of the villains of this league Now Aaron Fisher now pushing that 14 car. Curtis got two veterans, sort of, I think. Raven Fisher's a veteran. Well, not exactly. And there it is, white flag. One more lap to go. If the caution comes out, who cares? Race it back to the line. They're three wide for the lead. Got Patrick Coburn on that bottom. Oh, no, wait. Crap, I got, I got mixed up. It's actually a rookie, Randy M. Got the 13 of Zachary Robinson array on the bottom. He's looking for the lead on the back stretch. Got the 10 car of another rookie, Amanda Torrance, I believe. And they're racing real hard. They're looking for it. This can get awfully dangerous right here. Look at that 10 car all over the 13's back bumpers, trying to make the move. Who's it gonna be? Side by side for the lead in the tri oval. And Daytona winner is. I think the 10 car. Yes, he got him. Amazing performance right there. Amazing race. I'm not talking about the show though. Wow. Another photo finish. We got a photo finish. We, we usually don't get photo finishes at Daytona, but it looks like it's our first one. What a performance right there for a rookie. First time race. First time winner. First start, first win. Let's take a look at that again. See when these two drivers coming into the turns, they got two cars be right behind the 10 car. They could have helped a lot. And then you got Zachary Robinson. He got pushed up by a 10. That 4 car here gets turned by the 6 and look at that 10 car. Look at how many cars on the bottom. Look at the top. Look at that difference. They're not even right behind the 13 car. I'm surprised he got second. But look at how close this finish is. Two, exactly 200 miles an hour to the line. Let me try to see if I can get a better camera. Of course you can see that's the 10. And then you got this blocking helicopter cam. Yeah, right there. Wow. First photo finish at Daytona for sure. And now we'll take a look at the race results. Here is the official results. Look how close that finish was. Three one thousandths of a second. Amazing. Perf amazing. I don't want to repeat. So Zachary Robinson was so close to winning. You know, this is part of the track. This track, you must win here. Jerome A. Third. And then you got another rookie, Randy M. Cosmo Bud in fifth. Then here comes Raymond Fisher in 6, 7, Jordan and I, these, we always, we had our eyes on these drivers, but remember, it's super, it's all super speedway schedule, you never know what's going to happen and who's going to win it, 
Dress in Folks 8, he is one of Daytona before in the I Rock. 9th, Joseph Curtis. And 10th, Ian Dutta. 11th, Chris Watcher. 12th, Ryan Gable. 13th, Xavier Agosto. 14th, Karen M. 15th, Seth Brown. 16th, Ian Siegel. And 17th, Warden Cherry. 18th, Edward Wall. Else. I guess. 19 Connor Smith and 20th DJ Curtis. Here's the rest of the s official results and now to take you to victory lane.